Hey guys, welcome back to Life with Liz. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications, that way you'll be notified every time your girl posts a new video. Hey guys, me and Gabby have been by ourselves today. Get in the front, baby. I know, it's okay. We've been by ourselves today because today was Gingy's first day of school. Get in the front, baby, get in the front. It's raining. Yeah. So today was Gingy's first day of school. Uh, and so she left really early. So she should be, oh, sorry. She should be getting home. No, baby, up here in the front. <laughs> so she should be, she should be coming home here in a little while. But Gabby and I have been, well, I have been busy today. Uh, since we had no appointments or anything going on today, I cleaned up my house and I've been doing laundry. Uh, gave my bathroom a good cleaning. Just been busy, but at the same time, uh, it's been a very relaxing day. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna run to the store to get a couple of ingredients that I need for dinner. And so Miss Gabby is going with me. Can you say hi, Miss Gabby? It's, say. Not, it's, not, it's, not. it's okay. Did I leave my phone? No, it's right there. I, I stepped on it. Oh, you stepped on it? Yeah, on what that. the hell of it? On, on, on that. It was an accident? Okay. Can you say hi to everybody? Hi. Say hey, everybody. I'm not in school yet. <laughs> we are going to go to the store. And it's a weird, gloomy day. It's still raining outside. And it looks, yeah, I can smell the rain, but it hasn't rained over here yet. Uh, and we're in like, Gabby's wearing chanclas, I'm wearing chanclas and a tank top. Because I thought it was going to be sunny, it was super hot, it's been super hot, and now today, it's this. Uh, also, the uh, transportation for Gabby came by and they left the packet, so I got to fill out all of her emergency information, uh, get it done. She does start school next week, so she'll be she'll be home for probably about a little a little sorry a little more than a week mm -hmm. still with me, and so tomorrow. My mom does have a physical therapy appointment and my mom and dad have Adrian and I have Gabby so they'll be going with us tomorrow and um, and Adrian also starts school next week but um, she won't be with us next week. I know you do baby and she loves you too. And so uh, Tuesday I believe my mom has an appointment as well so Gabby will be going with us to that appointment. Yeah. But we're on our way. We'll see you guys at Walmart. <laughs> hey guys. So we are in Walmart. Uh, got a couple of things, but what did we get, Gabby? That you're gonna you're gonna snack on with me and show wax later when I'm editing. Mm -hmm. We have gotten into the bad habit of snacking when I'm editing. It'll be after dinner, you know, clean up, and then we sit down and watch TV. Yeah, and yeah, and what do we do, Gabby? In it help on the couch. And what do we do? We snack. No. And what did mommy get for later? Um. What what are these that I got for later? Chicharrones. Yeah. It's for me to eat. For you and me. Yeah. So we're gonna grab some medicine for Gingy if I can find it. Yeah, she's not feeling good. I think I'm in the wrong aisle though. Okay, let's back it up. Yeah, that's your sister. Hold on, watch out, watch out. Sorry guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm trying not to hit anybody. 
but I'm probably not gonna, it's gonna take me a minute to find what I'm looking for. So maybe in here. Yeah, found it, I'll be back. All right, so we grabbed what we needed and now to go stand in line somewhere because it looks like all of the lines even self checkout is pretty packed. So I've got like three items. Let me see if I can find one of these. I think I'll just go to self checkout. All these other carts have a lot of stuff, so. I'll go to self checkout and stand in that line. Wish us luck. <laughs> All right, guys, we are done at Wally World. And now we're gonna head over to the pharmacy to go pick up uh, prescriptions. And then uh, one more store, because the, all the avocados here were hard as rocks. So I'm gonna go to another store that's there by the pharmacy and see if their avocados are any better. So we are on our way. And I'm looking for avocados because I wanna make, uh, I'm gonna make some chipotle chicken and some um, I was gonna say tequila lime. <laughs> no tequila. Uh, cilantro lime rice. And uh, and I wanted to do a little uh, guacamole with it. So hopefully I find avocados. If not, there will be no guacamole. <laughs> Hey guys, we are back home and I'm gonna get started on dinner. So let me show you guys what I'm doing. I already cut up my chicken. I trimmed it and uh, sliced it long ways. So I'm just gonna season that with a little bit of this Santa Maria seasoning. I'll mix that right now. All right, and so then in the in a blender, in my blender, I'm gonna add a can of chipotle peppers. Let me grab a spoon. Thought I was ready. And this is a small can, I think it's a seven ounces. Yeah, seven ounces. I'm gonna add water into the can. Just to clean that out. I'm gonna dump it in there. Right. I'm also gonna add some onion. Or about half an onion and two big garlic. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that blended up. I'll be back. All right, now that uh, my sauce is blended, I'm gonna go ahead and pour that over the chicken. Let me get the, I might need to get the lid off of here. make it easier get all that sauce out of there all right. I'm gonna mix this up I'm gonna cover this and stick it in the fridge for about an hour while I get my other stuff going 
and then um, we'll start cooking this down. So I'm going to make sure everything's covered. All right. All right, guys, I thought I was recording, but I guess I wasn't. So while I'm waiting for uh, the chicken to marinate, I'm going to go ahead and make some guacamole. I did find, obviously I did find avocados. Um, at the next store that I went to. And they were the big ones. And they are nice and ripe. Alright, and I'm doing three avocados for this. I already have all of my ingredients washed up here in a bowl. getting what's left on the on the seed because a big old chunk was left on the seed. Let me wash my hands really quick. All right. So like I said, I've got three avocados here. But they're for the nice big avocados. There we go. Usually it comes right out. These are a little harder. This little tool that I got, um, that I'm using, uh, one of my sisters gave it to me a long time ago and I forgot that I even had it. And I was looking for something the other day and I was like, hey, I forgot all about this little nifty tool. So you use one end, it's serrated, and then you can use this other end to scoop it out. And it does a good job of scooping it all out. So I'm going to finish getting my avocados cut up and, oops, and I'll be back. Alright, now that I've got that all cut up in there, I'm going to start cutting up my veggies. I have a jalapeno here. So I'm just going to get this cut up. jalapeno, a purple onion, tomato, and cilantro. So I'll just speed through this part of chopping it up. All right, so there is the jalapeno. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in with the avocado. All right, now I'm gonna do my purple onion.
All right, so then there's the purple onion. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. I'm gonna wait on adding all of it in because I think with that, that's enough. I'm gonna go ahead and do my tomato. All right, and then here's the tomato. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there as well. And then let me clean up my board and I'll get started on the cilantro. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up my cilantro. So there's the cilantro, gonna go ahead and add that in there. All right, and I do have some limes already cut up. I have one here in my juicer. I'm just gonna start adding some lime juice in there. Start with that, add a little bit of salt. Let me wash up my hands and so I can mix this up and do a taste test. All right, I'm just gonna start mixing this up. Getting everything incorporated. The hardest part about guacamole is just chopping everything up. But it is delicious. I love guacamole. You can smell it, baby. Do you like guacamole, babe? Oh, you want to try it too? Okay. So if you don't already know, this is actually not a real molcajete, it's plastic. <laughs> but I'd love to put my uh, guacamole in here. Or even salsa. All right, let me grab a chip. See if it needs anything else. Mm. It's good. It's good just like that. Mm. All right. I'm going to get started on my rice. I called. <laughs> I called Fumble Fingers in to uh, sure, still fumble. <laughs> to try the the guacamole. Mm. That's just fire. It's good, right? Oh yeah. I loved it. 
Miss Gabby, you want to try it, Mama? Mm -hmm. You got to leave some for dinner, though, babe. <laughs> you want to take some to um <laughs> to your boss all right i'm gonna pack a little bit of this up so i can take some to his boss yeah. over back all right guys now i'm gonna do my rice uh but before i do that i'm gonna blend up what i'm gonna put in my rice so i am adding um some onion to the blender a piece of garlic, a little, a little chicken bouillon. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of water and I'm going to start kind of browning my rice a little bit um, just for a, like a minute or two and then I'll add in my water and we'll I'll add this in first and then my water. All right, so I added just a tiny bit of water. I'm gonna get this blended up and then I'll start on my rice. All right, so I've got my pan here warming up. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my rice. I have about two cups of rice in here. And I'm just gonna kind of mix this up for about a minute or two. And then I'll add my onion garlic mixture in here. All right, this is what the rice is looking like. I think it is ready for uh, the mixture, the onion mixture I made. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that in. And then I'll just mix this for a minute or so. I do have water boiling here in front, trying to boil. So I'll add water from there into here. I just want to saute the rice with the onion garlic mixture first. All right, so I told you guys that it was about two cups of rice. So I'm going to actually measure today and do uh, about four cups of water but I do have the water boiling I'm gonna add just a little bit more because those cups were not filling up all the way so just a little more and then I'm gonna let that I'm gonna mix it up Up down all the rice that's on the sides. I'm gonna add some broken bay leaf, but about one or one and a half pieces of bay leaf. I'm gonna mix that up and I'm gonna cover that and lower the heat. I'm gonna lower that, cover that up, and I'll start on the chicken. All right, guys, so I just pulled the chicken out of the fridge and uncovered it. And this is what it's looking like. It smells delicious. I'm just mixing around and let it come back to room temperature. But um, I, did, I did squeeze a uh, about a lime and a half and I zested uh, part of a lime so that's gonna go into the rice all right guys I have my pan here I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil it's nice and hot already all right 
and I'm going to start adding my chicken. So I'm going to check on my rice here. It's looking good. Let that go. Let it cook on, on that one side for a few minutes. I'll be back. Alright guys, so the rice is done. So I'm going to add that lime juice and lime zest to it and cilantro and just gonna mix that up give it a quick mix in here the rice smells amazing all right that should be good a little taste test and then um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, that's yummy. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up and check on the chicken. All right. Chicken is coming along nicely. Let it go for a little longer. I'll pick it out and have the rest of it in. All right, guys, this is Miss Gabby's plate. She's already tasting it. How is it, Miss Gabby? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. She says she really likes the rice. Yeah? You want to try the chicken? Mm -hmm. Here. Let me cut a little piece for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. It's yummy? Mm. You need a napkin? Mm. Okay. Alright guys, so Gingy, Art had a late lunch so he's not eating right now. Gingy came home not feeling well. She ate earlier. She came home and she ate um, a little something and took some medicine and she's dead asleep so I'm not going to wake her up. Uh, but there'll be food there for her when she gets up. Um, so this is, this is my plate. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little, little taste test. That chicken is delicious. But when you mix everything together, it's so yummy. It was super easy. The hardest part for this meal was the chopping uh, for the guacamole, but um, that it was definitely make this in rotation. It's it's yummy. All that's missing is the black beans. I'll have to make black beans the next time I make this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. We're going to finish eating, and we'll be back. All right, guys, I'm going to be making a drink for you. I'm going to start off with my lime juice because I started squeezing it already. So I need two ounces of lime juice. Squeeze out the other ounce.
So this is going to be a tequila Jolly Rancher. I think that one has more. All right. So we've got two ounces of fresh lime juice. Put this over. You do two ounces of tequila. of Midori. I can get it open. Alright, let me grab my glasses. I'm going to shake this up and then I'm going to pour it in. I'll be right back. All right, so I got my glasses, but I do like a sweeter drink, so I'm gonna add some agave to this. And I'm gonna go ahead and shake this up. I think I should add more. That was a lot of lime juice. Let me add a little more. Use some hefty shots. <laughs> but let me call Art over here so he can take one with me. Alright guys, so we got a little drinks. <laughs> oh a full? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I like you. I think that I made that. Does it taste like, kind of like a Jolly Rancher? Yeah. Yeah. That was that was yummy. Try it out. Try it. Bomb. All right, guys. So we finished dinner. I cleaned up the kitchen, and now I'm gonna go wash up and get ready for bed because I gotta get up super early. I my mom has a physical therapy appointment tomorrow. It's kind of early, so I got to get Gabby up, and I want to make sure that she's fed before we take off. So, And I believe Adrian may be coming over here and eating as well. I told my mom I would make the girls breakfast. That way they, you know, they can eat before we take off. So they'll be here bright and early, so got to hit the hay. Tonight's dinner was really, really good. I highly recommend. I think the next time I am gonna make them bold so, and I'm gonna make um, black beans to go with it, chop up some lettuce, add sour cream, little salsa. They were really good, really good. Gabby had two servings, Art had two servings. It, everybody loved it, so highly recommend. But that does conclude today's video. Make sure to uh, comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.